We already said that C service type save language only a variable of same data type can hold same type of data. But in some programming scenario, we need to convert data from one type to another. Data type conversion has another name, data type casting. In this video, we will discuss about data type casting in detail. Some data type conversion happen without any extra coding at all. As a numeric data types like a short range data type can be converted to a long range data type without any data conversion coding. This type of conversion known as implicit casting. Okay, we now have one console project named casting. Here we see we have one sort variable with a sort value. Now we are implicitly casting sort type variable var a to an integer type variable var b. Integer has higher range than sort type. That's why it supports implicit casting. Similarly, we can cast byte to sort or byte to integer. So through implicit casting, we can cast or convert lower range to higher range data type. But if we try to cast a higher range data type to a lower range, it will give us error. Here we are trying to convert an integer to sort. We are trying to cast higher range integer variable var a to lower range sort type variable var b implicitly. See it is giving us error and in error list window it is showing it cannot implicitly convert integer to sort. There is a brute force way to do this type of data type conversion known as explicit casting. For explicit casting we use cast operator. This cast operator is nothing but we enclose the new type in parenthesis and place it to the front of the value to be cast. Explicit casting is necessary when we are converting higher range data type to a short range data type. If we want to store materials from a big container to a small container, it cannot store all materials of big container. Similarly, when we are converting one higher range data type to lower range, we lose data. If we convert decimal to integer or whole type, result in losing of precision values. It also needs explicit conversion. Let's change our previous wrong implicit casting to an explicit casting. Explicit casting can do casting an object to its base class or base class to derive class. Another usefulness of explicit casting is that everyone can easily understand casting is going on in the program for the presence of cast operator. Now we will see use of system.convert class for explicit conversion. It is very helpful class. Each of the methods of this class is used to convert a value to various built-in data types such as in 16, in 32 or string. All methods in convert class are static. So you can directly call them from convert class. No need to create any object of convert class. Here we convert one string value to an integer value using convert.2 in 16 method.
In summary, we can say implicit casting is applicable for lower range to higher range conversion, but in other conversion cases, explicit casting is the way to go. Boxing and unboxing. Boxing is the process through which we can convert a value type to a reference type. The reciprocal case converting a reference type to a value type is known as unboxing. Take a look on this code snippet. In the first line, in type variable my var is assigned with a value 42. We already know that int or integer is a built in value type variable. In the second line, we are boxing variable my var. It is being copied to an instance of the object reference type, which is represented by the variable box var. It is possible to cast any type to object type. because all types including value types derive from the type object. It is an important aspect of p unified type system. We will understand it better when we will discuss about inheritance mechanism. When boxing happens, memory is allocated on the heap. The amount of allocation is size of value type plus the amount of memory need to hold the object and its internal structure. In our example, because the myvar is integer type, memory allocation amount is same of the size of integer plus the amount needs to hold object. The value type's value is then copied to newly allocated heap memory. The address of newly allocated object is placed on the stack and now points to a reference type. Now see what is unboxing. Here we are casting object type box var to again integer type myvar. When unboxing is happening, it extracts the value type from the object. Boxing and unboxing both cause performance issues. When a value type is boxed or object type is unboxed to value type, both casting processes are computationally expensive. So think twice before using them.